Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the nine-point circle in the Euler line, and I'm going to draw them as we go to illustrate it on uh, GeoGebra. So to start with, the nine-point circle is unique because it is um, a circle that contains nine points, and these nine points always remain on the circle. Uh, and so that's a very unique situation um, that they would remain. It's not like, you know, we have this idea of being collinear where points are on the same line. This is different because they're on the same circle, um, but it's just as significant as when we have some collinear points. So for the nine point circle, it is um, made up of points from a triangle. And so we start with uh, drawing a triangle. So we'll talk about triangle ABC. And the easiest points that are on the nine point circle are the midpoints of the sides of the triangle. So those three points are always on the uh, nine point circle. So we go to our midpoint or center tool, uh, which we're gonna use a lot for this construction uh, on GeoGebra. And then we click on the sides of the triangle. So side AB, that makes D is the midpoint, side BC, E is the midpoint, and then side AC, F is the midpoint. So those three points, the midpoints, if I drew the circle, I'm not going to because I want you to see the points separate first, and then we'll draw the circle connecting them all. But if I drew the circle through those three points, that would give me the nine-point circle. That's the easiest way to construct the nine-point circle is to make a circle through the three midpoints of the sides. Okay, the next one is the feet of the altitudes. And what a foot of an altitude is, it's the point where an altitude intersects the side of a triangle. So to draw an altitude, I go from a vertice A, and it needs to be perpendicular to the opposite side, BC, and so that's an altitude. So the foot of the altitude is this point, where the uh, point G, where the altitude intersects BC. So that's a foot of the altitude. And you've got three of those because there's three different altitudes. So we can draw all three of them in. So from C to AB, and then from B to AC, those are the three altitudes. Each of those altitudes intersects the side of the triangle. And so we can then draw in the points. And so point H is a foot. And then we can draw in uh, this one, which is going to be point I. And so now we've got six of the nine points. The six of the nine points are the, it, the midpoints, E, D, and F, and then the feet of the altitude, G, I, and H. And then finally, the last set is a little bit more obscure, and that is that the distance from the, uh, the orthocenter, remember the orthocenter, which is J now, um, the orthocenter is the um, intersection or the point of concurrency of the altitudes. If I take that segment, created by the orthocenter and the um, vertice uh, B to J, I get K. Um, and that is the midpoint from the orthocenter to a vertex. And that is on the nine point circle. Um, and so I just do that with J to C. And then I can do that from A to J. And so now I've created the nine points. You can, if you look at them, you can see, oh yeah, I can see the circular shape forming. I come over to my circular tool here, the circle through three points. I can pick any three of these. So like midpoint D, midpoint M between A and J, and the foot I. And you can see that now my circle goes through all nine of those points described. J is the orthocenter. No, it's really obvious here. Orthocenter is not the center of the nine point circle. So that is our nine point circle. Now, once you have the nine point circle, you can move on to create uh, the Euler line. And the Euler line is a segment connecting the circumcenter with the orthocenter. So we've already created the um, orthocenter, that's point J. So we need the circumcenter. And there's two ways you can create a circle circumcenter uh, on GeoGebra. The first way is connect the perpendicular bisectors. And I could do that. But I'm going to choose not to just so that our, our line doesn't get, our picture doesn't get super complicated. Um, so instead, I'm going to do the other way, which is to draw the circum circle, which is the circle that goes through the um, sides of the uh, triangle. Wait a second. It goes from B to A and then through C. And so that's the circum circle. It goes through the three vertices of the triangle. 
And then I'm going to find the center of the circumcircle, which this midpoint and center tool, if you click on a circle, it gives you that point. And so our um, point in is now our circumcenter. It's also, if I drew in the perpendicular bisectors, they would go through that point. You can see E, remember, was a midpoint. If I drew a perpendicular through E, it's easy to see that it would go through N. Okay, so J to N is our Euler line. And what makes the Euler line unique is that there are two other points that reside on that line. The first one is easy to find. It is the center of the nine-point circle. So I pick my nine-point circle using this center or midpoint tool. And I get point O, and you can see that O is the center, and it resides on the Euler line. And then the last one is uh, GeoGebra actually has a nice tool, and that is the centroid. Um, and the way that you can find the centroid with GeoGebra, remember, centroid is just the connection of the medians, but we could also just click on the, with using our midpoint or center tool, if we click on the triangle, point P is the centroid. Um, and remember, they, Jodra does this because centroid is like midpoint in that it's that point of uh, uh, balance on the circle on the um, triangle. Okay, so J, O, P, and N. J is the orthocenter. O was the um, center of the nine-point circle. P was the centroid, and N was the circumcenter. And all together, those make up the um, Euler line. So those are, are two really cool, interesting um ways that points coincide with each other in, in, in cool ways um, in triangles.